partnership with the Westpac Group presents Australian Women Shaping a Nation. Born the eldest of eight children to parents of modest means in Melbourne's inner city suburb of Fitzroy, Australia's first saint was far from what one would expect from a woman living in the 1800s. Helping to support her financially struggling family, Mary left for South Australia's Panola in her late teens to become governess to her aunt and uncle's children. It was here that Mary met Father Tennyson Woods, the man whom she was to befriend and form the order, the Sisters of St. Joseph of the Sacred Heart, in 1867. The order observed a life of poverty, maintaining a sense of equality with those they set out to most assist. It was often under the critical eye of the church, who found it difficult to tolerate the independence with which the order, under the helm of Mary, operated. The order expanded its reach across Australia and even to New Zealand, as Mary's resolve to educate and assist the poor drove her further and further afield. Often facing hardships with the order's day-to-day -day running, life for Mary had its challenges. She was even temporarily excommunicated from the church for her refusal to back down on issues and concerns close to her heart. But throughout all of this, Mary and her fellow nuns never failed to offer their support and assistance to those that needed it. Mary died in 1909, but her name and work has carried on in the hearts of millions around the world. In 2010, her canonization as a saint was celebrated in the Catholic Church, a just and noble honour for a woman who in her time was often seen as a threat and a radical by the same church. <laughs>